Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be checking out the Gravity Custom ROM. Uh, that is Gravity Custom ROM for Android 4.4 uh, KitKat on Nexus 4. Let's see. Uh, we'll be starting the device. Yeah. And let's see how it uh, pass on. We'll be exploring uh, the Android 4.4 uh, KitKat on Nexus 4. As we already know that uh, Android 4.4 KitKat has been released by Google along with uh, Nexus 5 uh, release. Uh, KitKat uh, for uh, Nexus 4 is uh, still uh, not out officially and uh, hopefully the factory images for Android 4.4 KitKat for the Nexus 4 devices and other uh, Nexus devices will be out soon. So let's see. This is one of the custom uh, beta builds, uh, custom ROM beta builds of Gravity ROM released by the developers. Uh, uh, right? Mm, we have flashed this ROM on Nexus 4 using the custom uh, Clockwork mod uh, CWM recovery and uh, let's see how it is as you can see on the lock screen a different icon right, just unlock the device and try first we'll uh, try to see uh, the details of the device using the build number right as you can see this uh, go to about phone yeah here it is the model number is Nexus 4, Android version is 4.4 and as you can see the build number clearly shows it's a gravity custom ROM uh, for the micro device that is the Nexus 4 device right now let's see what's uh, inside it as you can see this is the home screen some of the apps I have installed uh, in addition to the default ones which came with the ROM usually the default ones are none except uh, those uh, uh, that came with the Google applications like Gmail, uh, Google Play Store etc. Right? As you can see th this is the Google Now screen uh, we can just uh, reach to the Google Now screen by swiping on the screen on the right side right? here it is apart from that at the moment I am using the uh, Google launch, uh, stock launcher which came with this uh, instead of the Nova launcher which, uh, which is also built with this uh, custom ROM right. So uh, some things, uh, few things have changed with uh, Android 4.4 uh, uh, which are uh, inside this gravity ROM. Let's try to see. As you can see. Uh, the launch, uh, home uh, screen is a bit different in terms of the arrangement of icons etc. As, let's see, here you can see all the apps which you have on your device, you can see it here. Right. Uh, if you try to uh, change the wallpaper, you, you see uh, something has changed compared to the uh, Android Jelly Bean uh, 4.3 versions right if you tap the device for a long time you can see the options pop up uh, on the device like uh, wallpaper, widgets and settings usually in Android 4.3 you can find the widget and the apps uh, as two tabs here on the top of this uh, but here uh, for uh, adding a widgets you need to go here to settings and here you can see widgets right if you click on the widgets it will show you different widgets available for your uh, nexus 4 device right you can just uh, select the, uh, any of the widgets you need and uh, put on the home screen or the any other screen of the device right other thing is that if you uh, Want to uh, go to settings here you can go to settings but uh, on the settings tab will lead you to the google now settings right uh, for uh, going to set full settings of the device you need to go to this uh, app menu and here you can go to the settings right let's uh, check out the settings settings are usually the same uh, as you have uh, 
you may have seen on uh, Android 4.3. Uh, here the custom gravity settings can be found which is the additional uh, set of features for uh, gravity ROM as this is the, just the initial build uh, there is nothing uh, much which you can find inside the gravity settings except that uh, you can change the navigation bar buttons from inside it right and let's go back some of the things which uh, you find additional compared to 4.3 is tap and pay i'm not sure what it is uh, because uh, when clicking on learn more it doesn't go anywhere so we'll try to find out what it is and maybe we'll update you in uh, some time later right here you can find everything else right few things which have changed uh, is the SMS Hangouts now come with uh, SMS uh, embedded inside it means uh, you, you can just uh, get all your SMS inside the uh, ha Hangouts app uh, right so you can see SMS every SMS or text message which you get can be seen inside the Hangout SMS Hangout uh, app even though uh, this is not uh, on by default you need to enable the sms settings inside the uh, sms uh, integration inside the hangout settings right another thing which has changed inside uh, 4.4 is uh, this uh, dialer as you can see the dialer is different right here you need to click on that and, di uh, and dialer will pop up right after that if you want to go to miss call settings etc here you will find the miss call settings and everything else right so here it is the dialer and what else some of the things which um, because this is a custom rom and uh, everything is not uh, working some of the things which are not working in this build uh, the wi-fi hotspot uh, if you want to use uh, the device as a wi-fi hotspot uh this is uh, still yet to be fixed tethering and portable uh, hotspots are uh, are not working with this custom rom if i try to enable the portable wi-fi hotspot uh, option by selecting this the device will reboot so if you are using this rom better uh, wait for the fix to come in next uh, builds right so that's it uh, maybe we miss something Right. Yeah. So that's it uh, for uh, today. Uh, hopefully, we will uh, soon be getting the Nexus 4 uh, factory images from Google, and uh, after we get that, we'll uh, update you as soon as possible on the uh, on the Android Pure blog. Thank you for watching uh, the video. Uh, Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the right hand side top of this video. Thank you.